This video is going to show you how to route the backup camera alongside the factory wiring harness all the way up from the rear of your pickup truck, up through the engine bay, into the cabin of your truck, and up the A-pillar to connect to your Sylvania roadside mirror. The first thing you want to do before you do anything is put the camera where you think you're going to place it and stretch the wire all the way roughly alongside the path with which you're going to install it. What we found is that you may need an extension, a two and a half millimeter extension with a female end and a male end so that you can extend the wire to make it all the way to the roadside mirror. Here's a look at the extension that we purchased separately from the roadside mirror product in order to make the relatively long journey from the back of a pickup truck all the way up to the placement uh, over the rear view mirror. Here we are just double checking to make sure that with the extension we will have enough purchase to make that journey. The next thing you want to do is find about where you want to install the camera itself. So in this case there's a great spot next to the license plate and underneath the tailgate. And what we're going to do is simply tape the camera in position with a piece of electrical tape. You have two options with regards to running the wire to get it behind the bumper. You can simply go over the bumper like we show here. Or in this particular truck, the plastic covering over the bumper does not have any metal behind it. So we can easily drill a hole through that plastic and run the wire right through this plastic cover. We do not recommend drilling a hole through the metal part of the bumper um, if that's how your truck is situated, as this could be an invitation for rust and other corrosion issues. Once you have the camera where you want it, plug it in, and then what we're going to do is climb underneath the truck and we're going to look for the existing wiring harness that takes power from the engine and routes it back to the lights that illuminate the license plate. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to follow this wiring harness uh, in your truck and zip tie the wire for the Sylvania roadside mirror for the backup camera along the existing wiring harness in your truck. When the engineers at the manufacturer of your truck designed your truck and designed the placement of the factory wiring harness, they already took careful consideration to make sure it's not too close to any hot exhaust components such as the muffler or the tailpipe. They also uh, took care to make sure that it's not going to get pinched by any movement uh, from the shocks or struts or any of the other moving parts on the vehicle. So really, once you're able to find the wiring harness for your truck, Simply run the Sylvania roadside mirror wire alongside that wiring harness and zip tie it as you go to secure it. This really is the best way to have a clear pathway for this wire to get from the rear of your truck all the way into the cabin. A word of caution whenever you're underneath a vehicle, we strongly encourage you to wear safety glasses. Reason being, you never know what you're going to knock off uh, whether it's some salt or some dirt, some road grime, some sand, etc. And um, since you're probably most likely going to be on your back looking up, at least we were when we're making this video, um, if you knock anything, it's going to fall. And, and if it gets in your eyes, it's uh, quite painful. So we would strongly encourage you to wear safety glasses when underneath the truck. Absolutely. So here we are continuing to zip tie the roadside mirror backup camera wire alongside the factory wiring harness on this truck. This metal cable that you see in the foreground is a cable for the parking brake. So again, this is just another great example of why it's such a good idea to piggyback on the um, factory wiring harness on that pathway because you wouldn't want the roadside mirror wire to get caught up in a cable for the parking brake or really any other component. So now what you see is we're getting close to um, the area underneath the engine of the pickup truck. And now you see the factory wiring harness take a sharp turn and head directly up. So we're going to follow that route with the roadside mirror 
wire and here we are inside the engine bay right next to the master cylinder of the brake um, of the brake system and we're going to pull up the wire for the roadside mirror camera and continue along the, um, the factory wiring harness. So now it's time to transition into the cabin of your truck. What you see here, this black circular object is a grommet and that allows the factory wiring harness to go from the engine bay um, into the cabin of the vehicle. So we popped off that uh, grommet and now you see us uh, pushing the extension that we purchased through that grommet from the area underneath the steering wheel and now we're back into the engine bay and we're going to connect the two. Now that we have the extension connected, we're going to pull out any remaining slack that's floating around in the engine bay, and we're going to go ahead and replace this grommet that's in the firewall. This is a key step. You don't want to forget about this one because this grommet is what prevents any water or anything else from getting from the engine bay uh, into the cabin. Here we are tucking the wire behind the kick panel near the parking brake and sending it up the channel um, that is adjacent to the door frame seal. There's a wonderful little channel along this seal and we've had much success simply uh, sticking the wire right behind that channel. And if you have any corners or transitions that are difficult to, to, um, to transition, what you can do is go ahead and pull the seal back a little bit, stuff the wire in there and then push it back into place. Go ahead and continue to work the wire alongside that channel all the way up until you reach the top of the A-pillar. Once you reach the top of the A-pillar trim, go ahead and make that transition by stuffing the wire down below the A-pillar trim piece like we show here. Almost every vehicle will have a gap big enough to stuff the wire behind it between the top of the windshield and the bottom of the headliner. So what you see us doing now is stuffing this wire for the Sylvania roadside mirror behind that headliner and getting it right into position to connect to the roadside mirror. Now what we're going to do is bring the roadside mirror into play, connect the camera and the power, and we want to make sure that it works. Position the mirror, the roadside mirror, onto your factory mirror, and it should power up once you've connected the power. And here you can see the image from our backup camera that we just installed. Now that we have the wiring fully in place, we're going to secure the backup camera to the bumper exactly where we want it. So in this case, what we're doing before we secure it is we're tightening up the two bolts on the side of the hinge so that the camera is tight. There's not a lot of clearance to the left side uh, where we decided to place it. Here we are pulling off the adhesive for the foam double-sided tape that's included with the camera. And we're going to place this on the camera itself. And once we've done that, we're going to position it where we want it and press it into place. Since we've already established that this black cover is simply plastic and, and does not have any metal behind it, we feel comfortable drilling a couple more holes and putting the screws in there to add as another uh, method of security for keep, keeping the camera exactly where we want it. So in summary, routing a backup camera on a pickup truck really isn't too difficult. As long as you follow the factory wiring harness pathway that that goes from the engine all the way to the rear of the vehicle, you really should be just fine. And when in doubt, just follow that wire, zip tie it up so it's not flopping around, and you will be good to go.